Hi everybody, this is Jim from Florida Water Daily. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create a brand new, modern, responsive website in less than 10 minutes. There are a lot of tools out there to make this process very easy and very inexpensive. When you're creating a new website, the first question you have to ask yourself is, how am I going to host my website? There are a number of services that you can use, but I've had a lot of success using Bluehost to host Florida Water Daily. And I found them to be very inex inexpensive and very reliable. So I've been using them for about a year, and I've been very satisfied. The, the second question you need to answer is, what system am I going to use to manage my site? I've built my websites on the WordPress content management system. WordPress started as a blogging system, but it's really grown to be able to manage very different kinds of websites, uh, e-commerce sites, entertainment sites, you name it. And it is so broadly used that there's a ton of themes and plugins and features that are available, many of which are very little cost or, uh, and a lot of times, free, free to use. So today we're going to launch a brand new website using WordPress and Bluehost in less than 10 minutes. First off, let's go to the Bluehost website. On their website, you'll see a Get Started Now button or, or something similar. Uh, they offer a range of plans to help meet your needs. So if you're just looking for a single website, you can use this basic plan. The next step is to choose your domain name. Today, I'm going to create an example website. So I'm going to call it jimsexamplewebsite.com. I click Submit. And Bluehost tells me that jimsexamplewebsite.com is available. Excellent. On the next page is where you enter your billing and contact information. I'm going to skip this page as I already have a Bluehost account. So now I'm going to skip ahead and we'll, we'll start working from the control panel. All right. After you get done with your filling in your contact information and billing information, you should get to your control panel or C panel. And on that C panel, you should see a button for install WordPress. So we're going to click that. And then on the following page, again, we're going to, going to click install. They have some options for professional services to help you through this process, but we're just going to do it ourselves. We're going to, so we're going to click install. All right, on this page, if you have multiple domains with WordPress, you can choose which domain to uh, install WordPress on. You can choose whether to have www. in front of your domain or not. Either way is, is really up to you. And then we're going to look at the um, settings for your page. We can modify the site name and also assign your admin username and password, which is what you'll use to log into your WordPress site and, and make updates. So it's important to note this, save it where you need it, where you can get it again, so that you can sign into your WordPress page and, and make your updates. All right, so we clicked install, and now WordPress is being installed in the background. Now that it's done, we are going to click on View Credentials. It'll just show us one more time our username and password. And then we're going to click My Installs. And we're going to log into our admin panel for WordPress. And there's two ways to do that. You can type in the name of your website, slash wp-admin, or on this page under My Installs, you can click Admin Login. That's where it's going to take you. And here is where you will type in that username and password that we just entered in. I've grayed out my username and password, but this is where you would type yours in. Remember to click Remember Me so you don't have to log in every time. And here we are on your WordPress web page dashboard. So 
So what we're going to do now is install a theme, which is really the, the formatting for our site. So on the sidebar on the left, we're under Appearances, we're going to click on Themes. And what pops up are some default themes that have already been installed on our site for us to choose from. These come for free from WordPress.org. But we're going to look for a new theme. So we're going to click Add Theme. And this brings us to the WordPress.org system where we can search for really one of the thousands of themes that, that they have available. And I'm going to click on Popular and I'm going to scroll down to a theme that I've seen before that looks pretty nice and it's free to use and it's called Enigma. So I see it down there. I'm going to click Install. and it's installed. And There's a notice at the top that says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. So we're not really live. If you want to go live, click here. So let's do that. And we're live. So let's open up a new tab and let's go to our website. Jim's example website dot com. Let's see what it looks like to the rest of the world. Uh, this is not right. That's not the right theme that I wanted. Looks like one of the default themes. I realized I forgot to activate it. There's one more button you need to do. So I, I have activated my new theme. So let's reload the website. And there it is. So here is our new brand new website up and running live to the world in less than 10 minutes. It's got a lot of neat features and a lot of real simple ways to customize this site. And I'm going to follow this video with a few additional videos on how to customize the site to make it fit your needs. So we'll add, add some new features, we'll update the text to, to meet our needs, and uh, I hope you found this helpful and check out the uh, next video in this series about how to customize this brand new website. Thanks for watching.